Alabama investigators talking to us tonight after making several human trafficking arrests. Police say they have charged at least five people with sex trafficking in an undercover sting. Our Brian Henry live at five from Tuscaloosa with how this unfolded, Brian. Well, Jonathan Morgan investigators with the West Alabama Trafficking Task Force say they've charged five people, as you just mentioned. All five cases were not connected and they did not include a real victim. The arrest of the five came from an undercover operation, one in which West Alabama human trafficking investigators went undercover, according to investigator Jessica Wilson. There were a couple different undercover officers that we were using, um, but all were under the age of 16 is what those gentlemen believe. In other words, there were no real victims, which means authorities likely prevented a would-be juvenile victim from becoming ensnared in a commercial sex encounter. With years of experience, investigator Jessica Wilson says authorities know just where to look and zero in on a suspected sex trafficker. We had different profiles posted on various social media websites, um, as well as an advertisement posted for commercial sex. Um, and when those profiles or that ad was contacted, um, those people were then informed that they were speaking with a minor. Busted, arrested, and charged. Five people caught of the five, two were from Tuscaloosa, one from Northport, and the remaining two from Birmingham and Port Arthur, Texas. In this instance, when they showed up, they were met by police officers. However, this could have been a real child. Meantime, a dire warning to parents. Also, I would like for parents to know that this sort of thing is going on. Um, it is so important to be going through those cell phones to know who your kids are talking to. Investigator Wilson says the charges are felonies. It is not clear what sort of punishment they could face if they're convicted. Now tonight, the West Alabama Sex Trafficking Task Force is made up of five law enforcement agencies and three non-law enforcement groups. In Tuscaloosa, Brian Henry, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side.